Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahawa Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the Spirit. And power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as The Lord Kills. Alright, The Lord Kills. Alright, I did a lesson on this previous before. This is another quick hitter for edification for those that's new in the truth. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of jakes out here in the world that's in Christianity, they believe that Satan does the killing. And Satan is fighting the Heavenly Father and he's, you know, Satan is doing everything. But it's not. The Lord is the one that's in control of good and evil. All right. And the Lord kills. All right. And we're going to get some precepts on that. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. The first precept I'm going to start is Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord have made all things for himself. See, the Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord is in control of good and evil. The Lord is in control of good and evil. The Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord is in control of good and evil, man. All right, there's no if or ands or buts about it. The Lord is in control of all things. All right. The Lord is in control of all things. Deuteronomy 30. And we're going to start at verse 15. Deuteronomy 30 and 15. It says, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. See, so the heavenly father, his true name is Yahweh. Yah means he. Hawa means to be exists. He is. Bahashim coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Hawashai means Savior, Deliverer. So the Lord, He's in control of life, good, and death, and evil. See, so the Heavenly Father is in control of life, good, death, and evil. He's in control of all things, man. Not Satan. All right? Not the angelic Satan. The angelic Satan is just an instrument used of the Most High to try us individually. All right? With our faith. Satan messed with us. In different scenarios, like he'll mess with us in our, you know, our thoughts, you know, you know, he'll mess with us, you know, through our women, through our children, because the Lord sends Satan, the Lord does send Satan after you to mess with you. All right. He can even hop on your brother-in-law even just to cause, you know, um, certain things. But Satan is in total order. All right. He follows all the instructions of the Heavenly Father. Satan isn't rebelling against the Heavenly Father. He's in total order. The angelic Satan. He's in total order. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. So, right. The Lord is in control of life, good, death and evil, cursing and blessing. The Lord is in control of all things. All right. All things. This is Deuteronomy 32, 8 through 9. When the Most High divided... Oh, so like a wrong precept. 32 and 39. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. See, so the Heavenly Father, He kills and He makes alive. I wound and I heal. See, so the Lord wounds and he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. And that goes back into Proverbs 1 and 7. That's why you want to fear the Lord. Because the Lord is in control of all things, good and evil. He's in control of good and evil. The Lord kills and he makes alive. All right. He wounds and he heals. Everything is done of the will of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. This is total order. All right, so the Lord is, is in control of all things. The Lord kills. All right, the Lord kills. The Lord is in control of good and evil, man. Got another precept. This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. 
1 Samuel 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth, and he maketh alive. Now, this is blunt. I thought I thought you, you Christians out there, I thought Satan does the killing. Let's read it again. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth. The Lord. This is in caps. The Lord, the Heavenly Father. The Lord killeth, and he maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave, and bringeth up. So the Lord kills. And you want to fear the Lord, because everything is through the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh and the Lord does kill. All right, regardless if you believe in it or not, the Lord kills. So I'm in it with this precept right here. We're gonna call it a day. This is Isaiah 45, uh, verse six. We're gonna read down to verse seven. Isaiah 45 and six. It says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Verse seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See, so the Lord is in control of good and evil. The Lord kills, man. All right. The Lord kills. All right. As a matter of fact, I'll just get a bonus scripture out. And we're going to start at, uh, just to prove that Satan is in uh, total order, man. As a matter of fact, yep. We'll read up from the top because the Lord allows Satan to mess with Job. This is Job 1 and verse 6. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among, among them. Now listen to this. Verse 7, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going up to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So the Lord asked Satan, where, where you come from? And Satan said, Lord, I come, I'm doing your work. I come up and I come from, from, uh, I come from, I, I'm coming up and down in the earth. I'm doing what you commanded me to do, Lord. That's what Satan said, basically. Going to and fro in the earth. I'm walking up and down in the earth. I'm doing is what you command me to do, Lord. I go around stirring up. Doing what you require me to do. Verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan. See. Has thou considered my servant Job. That there is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man. Because Job was a perfect and upright man. He didn't do wicked. It says. One that feareth the most high. And ensureth evil. He didn't do evil. Job was a righteous. He was a perfect and upright man. Verse 9. Then Satan answered the Lord and said. Do if Job fear. Yahweh for not. It says, has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Thou has blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. Verse 11, put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, see, so Satan has to get permission from the heavenly father before he can do anything. He can't just go and just do stuff. He has to get permission from the heavenly father first. Verse 12. And this is proof. This is to prove what I'm saying. Verse 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, behold, all that he have is in thy power. See? So the Lord gave him permission to go mess with Job. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Right? So the Lord gave Satan permission to mess with Job. So the Lord gave Satan permission to mess with Job. All right. I'm gonna read this. The spirit is just moving. This is Job two and nine, and this is this is to prove that the Lord is in control of all things. Job two and nine. It says, "Then said his wife unto him, Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die.' So she told him to give up on the Lord and die, because she seen how horrible he looked. He was smitten with boils from the crown of his head down to his feet. Verse ten. It says, "But he said unto her, and this is what Job said unto his wife." Thou speaketh as a foolish woman speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips, right? So that shows you that the Lord is in control of good and evil, and the Lord kills. The Lord, everything is done through the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. All right, the Lord Yahweh is in control of all things. The Lord is in control of good and evil. 
All right, not Satan and the Lord kills. Mainly the Lord kills, though. So, hey, man, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but one true name is Yahweh Shai. And I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the old full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth, sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. So the next time I say, Shalom.